Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Wednesday live stream. How are you all doing today? I'm back home. The little mini uh, vacation slash holiday is um, over. For better or for worse. I enjoy my time away. I enjoy my time here. Gonna be streaming for about one to two hours today. And then I need to catch up on some sleep. I've been traveling a lot. The past few weeks in the past month gonna be just you know figuring things out how we are each of each and every one of you doing okay good we are live hello 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 there we go oh and we're starting right away with the bomba <laughs> uh for those of you that don't know we've been talking about this google trade annoyingly for um for actually probably um Longer than I'd like to care. I've probably been talking about. I've been talking about this trade since Google is twenty three hundred, and um, you know, sat through a lot of consolidation. People were telling me, uh, "Weenie, you're crazy. Why do you keep talking about Google? Why do you keep talking about Google? It's just going sideways." And I said, "Ah, oh, you guys don't understand. The more that Google goes sideways, Google. the more that Google goes sideways, the more that I love it." And here it is, um, Google. Um, paying off for um, patients, you know, and and you know, and and, and, so, and some some uh, some weenie members, aka the Bomba, and uh, many others, Alex Kim, many other people catching Google and other tech stocks, which we can talk about in a bit, but uh, with uh, different risk levels, different um, different um, types of leverage, you know, some it can pay really well. Just understand that with call options, there's greater um, risk involved, but. They pay you very well when you're rewarded for catching breakouts like these. The gap and go setup, the all-time high breakout pattern. You know, we got ascending triangle. All the, all of these, all, all of the, all of the students that that caught Google. You know, pretty, pretty advanced course members. They've been, they've been there and studying for quite a while. I'm glad to see it's paying off more than paying off. You know, 30x, 40x, 50x. You know, on their investment. <laughs> But yes, good to see each and every one of you. I've missed you. It's good to be back. Happy summer. <laughs> good to see you, Jeremiah. How's it going, Jeremiah? Oh, I, I, uh, Bryce and I have been um, editing the videos. We got some good stuff. We've got some good stuff. Gonna peel this first contract and hold the second. I love it. I, I'm glad you got a plan, the Bomba. Good to see you, Endo. Good to see you, Yasser. Good to see you, Muhammad. Good to see you, Legion Rug. Good to see you, G-Man. Good to see you, G-Seaver. Good to see you, Alex Kim. Good to see you, VT. Good to see you, Maxime. Good to see you. How's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see you, Ponchi. Good to see you, Alan. What is up? <laughs> and shout out to the Bomba. I really, I really appreciate that. You've been holding... <laughs> You've been holding 150x. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, 10, 20, 30x, try 150x. Good to see you, Amber. Good to see you, Hike. Good to see you, Ciarzani. It looks like SQ may be back on its uptrend. Potentially. Good to see you, D. Good to see you, Tom. Yeah, I, I do have I do have um I do have my buddy Parker. He um he made sure to wake us up, that's for sure. That's okay though. He keep uh he keeps us on uh, routine, that's for sure. Weenie on his Google, I know, and I, I, I hope um, Google can be another like learning lesson on you know the, there's many learning option strategies is very important um, for being able to capture what you like and yeah SQ starting to gap up now, that's cool I love it SQ lots of resistance at two fifty but I do, I don't I, I do like SQ for a long today. I might be um selling put credit spreads today. Good to see you, Matthew Luker. Let's get those profits on the good vibes. Process over profits. Remember, we need to focus on executing well. Then the profits will come. Whenever you think about the profits first, uh, then your execution might be fumbling because you're, you're you you might be a little greedy and um, you might be uh. You might be counting your dollar bills while you're on the job. <laughs> Could you imagine what if you like went to a like a nine to five job and you're like, Ooh, can't wait to get my profits, my 40 hours a week profits. 
But yes, I like it. Good to see Matthew Luker. <laughs> I'm just going on random tangents. <laughs> I'm sorry that wasn't supposed to be. How's my buddy, Parker? Hot 8 been paying me well? Nice. I love it, Kobe. What up, B? Good to see, good to see you, uh, Cambo. Uh, Bahamut asks, how is Neo looking? Let's check out Neo real quick. So Neo... I'd be, you know... In terms of the trends, it is on an uptrend on the four hour. It could be, it's probably at a higher low. If Neo does sell off, I would like to grab Neo at 47.65 all the way down to 46.40. So this kind of whole zone, that's the dip buy zone. I don't know if Neo's ready to go up just yet. Um, there's a little breakout over 50.77, but even then, it's kind of really struggling. Maybe we continue this higher low trend into the flat top resistance and then we can pop to the upside or we might break down. So keep an eye out on that. So look at the rising um, support somewhere above a higher low. We'll see if we can pop up above that 51 though. And Campbell asks, are Amazon calls free money? Nothing's free money. And um, understand that implied volatility just changed. The time for Amazon calls was at the breakout at 35.50. So that was the time for calls because Amazon was not expected to move 5% in one day. So that's when the implied volatility got jacked up. Now that Amazon's gapping up yet again, you can be looking at calls, but IV is, is, is increased. So now you even need a bigger move. So only if you're expecting Amazon to do a bigger move than it has already made, are Amazon calls free money. So in my opinion, no, they are not. In fact, I still think put credit spreads are the way to go on Amazon. Uh, well, I don't not still think, I now think put credit spreads are more worth it. The call trade is starting to end because the implied volatility got jacked up. So you wanna buy, be buyers of options when implied volatility is low and sellers of options when implied volatility is high relative to what you think the stock price can do. That's what's, um, that's what's so important. <laughs> hey. Thank you, Nightbot. <laughs> How's your buddy Parker? Parker's doing good. Here. Here. Here's a, here's a, good, here's a good little look at uh, Parker right here. I missed him. He's, he's, uh, he's ready to hang out. He's in his spot for the day. He's pretty um he was pretty vocal this morning, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, you guys can hear me. Yeah, okay, you can. Yeah, the mic is moving. You guys would yell at me if my mic wasn't going on. <laughs> Neg a big candle, any GG. Let's check it out. Any GG. Yeah, nice good move. Um I don't like how this just went from ten dollars and then now it's now at thirty. Whenever a stock triples, usually that um can signify the end. The breakout was over 2150. That was the correct entry point. Nice, good flat top resistance right there. Breakout. You can add over the little wick, you know, 2350. Extended move higher. Now we're already pushing higher yet again. Well, now once we start to go vertical, that's usually where we can start to um, drop vertically. It's usually a topping ending move once all the short sellers are cleared out. <laughs> Good to see you, Charlie. How's it going? How's it going, Charlie? Long AMD this AM? That's a really good question. Let's check out AMD. AMD does look more relatively bullish than it does bearish at the moment. AMD 9507. Is that little upside breakpoint? I might go long AMD over 95. 13. It depends on the size, though, and the whippiness of the market. Yeah, you're going to able to take a break from holiday, enjoy some of these big moves. Amazon and Shop both flying. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, Charlie. I'm long Shop. I don't know if you saw that yesterday. Oh, yes. New gap up into all-time highs. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I am, um, I am long Shop. Glad I added to it. Today's profit-taking day. Today is profit taking day. So, you know, first of all, 
all the duds are up here. Starbucks is doing well. Shopify, 1570, 1575, $118 into 500 maybe. Uh, let's see here. MRNA, bullish. Shopify put credit spreads. That's just going to be collecting $291 profit if Shopify stays above $1,500 next week. Uh, we got the Shopify $1,580, $1,590. I'm excited for this one. $200 into $1,000. I think we have, I have one more. Yep, one more. Shopify. Yep, credit spread. So, man, Shopify, Shopify might pay about two grand. Just a regular old swing trade, too. And that's the thing with options trades. Sometimes they're just lame, you know? You know, I, it, it, you know, like like Airbnb and Beyond Meat, they've soiled me. They just they did they just went sideways to lower, and they, there's just no explosive breakouts. But that's the whole point is of options contracts is a few contracts pay you really really well, and as long as you have your positive your expectancy is positive on that, it's fine. And even if it's not positive, it's just an area to improve on, or something to refine the strategy on. How's it going? Doesn't spreads negate IV crush? Great question, Jerry. If they're both out of the money, it mitigates it, but does not remove it entirely. If both your options are out of the money and you have a debit spread, it still has theta burn. So don't uh, forget that, Jerry. Yeah, Parker, chill. Good to see you, Frank Skills. Uh, thoughts on SPCE, Virgin Galactic. Let's check out SPCE. If I missed your stalker question, just ah, repost it. Um, really in between this range still, we're still in the bear flag. So it's too bad SPC had to sell off all the way down. Couldn't find any support at 50. Couldn't find any support at 46. Found a little bit of support at 44. If I had to guess bullish or bearish, uh, that's one of the most difficult questions. I'll give you a pivot beneath 46 SPCE is bearish. Above 47.50, SPCE is bullish up to 50. Hope that helps you out. Big flight on Sunday. Yeah, it could go then, you know, the, the stuff. Good to see you, Charlie. How'd I do on the Google move last week? It was pretty good. Um, You know, I, I, always in hindsight, you wish you would have sized up more since I kept talking about it. But I also think of my overnight risk. You know, I'd love to swing like, five call contracts of Google, <laughs> but I also am always worried about the gap down and scared money doesn't make money, but it's also scared money has protected me all these years. So I'd played the in-between. I just had a ton of debit spreads. I had like four debits and like, you know, four um, put credits. So, you know, I, it, it was pretty good. I was able to probably rack in about 3.5K off of Google, but you know, I'm also focusing on other trades. Would have loved to have, I, if I'm swinging those call contracts, you know, you got to be prepared for a gap against you like that. I, I don't know if I'm willing to potentially risk 7K on one trade, which is fine. You know, some people would say, why are you even in the market if you're not willing to risk that much? It's uh, everybody's risk tolerance is different. I say respect it. It was good. It was a really good trade. I'm still long Google, just in smaller size now, just like leap spreads and then some options that'll expire in the money and do pretty well. It was pretty awesome. Yeah, the Shopify spreads still suck. I agree. Yep, Shopify spreads still suck, Charlie. Good to see you, Mysterious um, MM. APTY is the next AMC at two cents. Um, maybe. I, I hope it is for anybody's that's in it's sake. Yeah. I wish I could sleep like Parker. Good to see you, Yogesh. How's it going? Oh, boy. And we got quite a bit of stuff. Big C on the one minute. Nice goods consolidation break. Now you can buy the pullback at 67.50 or you can buy the breakout at 70.80. Watch out for resistance at 73.80 on Big C. How's the vacation? Um, it, was, it was good. It was the family holiday. It was the family holiday. AMC, opinion on it? I don't really have opinions of stocks, but um, if you, if you rewatch um, yesterday's video, I guess stream, 
like end of day stream. We've been talking about the, the this is a rollover formation. Somebody got some uh some 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 short seller wicks going right over there. Here, I'm gonna just kind of move Parker over. There you go. There's how's it going, Parker? But AMC just all uh, I've got these support lines drawn. Next support is six forty six nineteen. It's likely gonna test that at some point today. Uh, and then the next point is forty five. Then the next point is 43.13. After that, I mean, we can check out 36. So ever since AMC failed, you know, 59. Been talking about how it's more likely to go to 36 than it is to break out. That's not fear, uncertainty, or doubt. That's not FUD. That's just um, technical analysis and just my opinion. Now, and, and things can change, too, pretty quickly in this market. Look for AMC to break out over 62. Otherwise, I'd expect a zigzag, chop, chop, zigzag, uh, and then sideways to slightly lower. And we got the open. Ding, 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 ding. Nice, good stuff. Okay, so we got Google gapping up, Peloton gapping up, Square almost at 250. Uh, might go long, just small size Square here. Is my charts frozen? I'm gonna put in a buy stop. Nice good move there by Square. So looking to go long Square in the pre-market, or right now at market open, I should say. There's Shopify exploding higher, 1570. Nice good stuff. Oh hey. I mean, I, I don't even know what when if Robinhood is accurate or not. See, like, yes, yeah, sometimes Robinhood's just goofy, goofball. Like, what is this? <laughs> How's the Shopify doing? Okay, so Shopify is absolutely ripping in the. Is a gap and go? Oh wow, it's still going too. Okay, well, um. I'm just going to put this at uh, 2.4 since we're past that strike price, especially while the momentum is nice and hot. Let's go uh, 2.1. Yeah, the, the, these spreads are nasty. That should fail. There you go. 2.1. That was easy. Nice, good stuff. Okay. Well, there we go. Here comes square now. Does it still want to go? Going to go along over 250 on square if it can break. 80s, 76, 48s. Going to go along small size square right here. There you go. There's Shopify. First pullback on Shopify. Not pretty decent pullback too. If Shopify starts to curl higher, I would like to go long for a day trade. I hit the market on um, on Square, but okay. I like that pivot to risk off of. Oh, I just got that dip on Shopify. Fifteen sixty five is going to be the stop. Ooh. There's the spy, and here's um, Shopify. I'm gonna add to Shopify over 15.73. Damn! So there goes Shopify. It's a long square. Okay. Oh, just got more Shopify. Nice, good stuff. Nice, good stuff. Nice, good move. There we go, Shopify. Oh, beautiful. Let's go. 73s, 79s, 82s, 83s. 
Nice good stuff there, Shopify. Beautiful. Well, there we go. That's the that's the moves. Stop uh, going to be break even on the remaining shares. Oh, boy. Glad I peeled some profits up there. That's why we do it. Nice, good move higher. See, and just like that, boom. Oh, wow. There we go. Got that. Got those shares off. Nice, good stuff. Now this can be a nice, good trailer. Oh, shout out to... Uh, how, are you, how are you guys doing? I know. I hope I'm wrong on AMC too, Alan. Okay, and uh, shout out to CR Zani over here. So look, I might just be... Uh, call, call it a morning over here. Oh, no. Oh, hey, SQ. I'm long SQ 252. I really wish I could have gotten more size, but that's okay. That's okay. We're killing it on shop. We're having fun on shop over here. Gonna take some profits off on Square right over there. On the day trade. But shout out to CR Zani. Let's check out BHT. BHT. G. BHT G. Um, so CR Zani, this is a penny stock, so be careful. Um, the, the, this is very likely to sell off. Very likely to sell off and, and die. Um, penny stock, pump and dump. So we made a nice good uh, pump and then we started to dump. Then uh, we started to pump, then we dumped, now we pumped, and now we're likely going to start to dump. Um, it, uh, based on BHTG, um, you know, $1.75 might be the next uh, breakout area if it does break out, but there it goes. It's still sell selling off just as we expected. So watch out and be very, very careful on BHTG in my humble opinion. So be very, very careful. We got Amazon above $3,700. Um, watch out on that. Amazon was a, a sell, probably still a sell on any uh, move higher. See, like Amazon, crazy. Here's the 39.7 slash 400. Man. Yeah, SQ, I guess, on the next resistance isn't for quite a while. Here comes SQ looking to break out yet again. I guess I'm going to buy that back. Wow, there we go. Nice good move higher. Well, 253.40 is probably the next resistance on SQ over here. Looking for that. And there it goes. Punishing some false breakout purse people. And there you go. Here comes Shopify. More new um, highs. Love it, love it, love it. I'm going to just um, trail up my stop on that. Nice, good stuff. Stop is just underneath 1580. And there goes uh, SQ. Wow. That was a nasty pullback on SQ. Let's see if this curls higher over 252. Shopify still going. Let's see. Gonna add just small size right there on SQ. So still long square, small size, looking for the next move higher into 253.50. That was the move. Still at resistance though for square over here. Okay, and let's check out Scooby-Doo technical analysis on AMC. Let's pull up AMC in the bottom right corner. Bottom right corner for AMC and there's Shopify. Glad I took some profits up there. And they're still looking at uh, SQ over here. Just keeping an eye on it. Stop on SQ is going to be 251.14. And that's where I'm just going to call it. Just short term stuff. But it's probably going to tag. Still hit the resistance. Um, but yes, let's check out AMC. I did, didn't I say 46 was likely going to be visited today? So the, in the pre-market, so there's um there's AMC um visiting that 45. Squares uh Square just stopped out. 
No, that's fine. So be it. Two fifty point eight nine. So if square kind of bump jumbled that square, wasn't full, uh, jumbled that position, wasn't fully paying attention as well as I could have. Shame on me. Sometimes that's the cost of fumbling with multiple trades and stuff like that. <laughs> but yes, I'm gonna flatten Shopify right up there. That was a nice good trade while it lasted. You know, 150 bucks square. And there's minus 10. We'll see if we can um do better, but and there's uh, Amazon. Nice good move. Ninety nine dollars into ninety nine dollars into four hundred fifty five. I do want to take profits on this at some point. Let's just see one hundred dollars into five hundred right here. Call it a day. There you go, Phil. Oh, five thirty eight. Perfect. Okay. Cool. Nice, good stuff. So I'll take those profits. And there goes Shopify now going higher. AMC still headed lower. There we go. So SQ one last time. It just had to um, wiggle me a little bit. Got the SQ. So it back in SQ. And now Shopify starts to go back in again after I flattened it. Hmm. Yeah, there's AMC. Um, probably down to forty four sixty nine is the next uh, next uh, area to watch out for. Ooh, that was a nasty short sell right there on SQ. Let's see if Square can hold above two fifty two. That's where I'd like to add, and then peel. I did say I like put credit spreads better. Come on, hold SQ. There goes Shopify looking for more highs now. Man, I feel like I should be long Shopify. I mean, oh, there we go. One more. There we go. Nice. Got some off there on square. Beautiful. Ooh, got some more off there. Would have liked to have held just a little bit more, but that's okay. There you go. New highs on square. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is the resistance I was looking at. Got some more off. Last 30 shares. This is the resistance that I had. 253.80s. I'll throw some up on the ask. And here comes Shopify still going higher. So... Ooh, a little bit of shenanigans on that formation. Nice, good move. Going to move up my stop now in square. To in the money. Nice, good stuff. Shopify looking for more highs. Oh, wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. There's Shopify new um, all-time highs. Boy. This is amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. There's the Shopify credit spreads. Starbucks, 116, 117. Looks like Starbucks is going off today as well. Square is still going off. Nice, good stuff. Still trailing Square. Trailing it. Shopify is still going. Here's Square. Target just achieved at that 253.50. Let's see if we'll get the... We got... Oh, I got one done on the day. <laughs> but yes, good morning, everybody. Hope you're all doing amazing. Appreciate each and every one of you hanging out here. Hopefully some of you able, were able to catch the Square and Shopify trade this morning. Very peaceful. I mean, not to say that you're taking the exact same trades as me or anything like that. But there's... um. That, that's pretty much the target for Square, in my opinion. Doesn't get much better than that. And the, the remaining piece, I'm, I'm going to have a stop just underneath 252 if it holds. It's still going, I guess. That's fine by me. Okay, Square's still going. 254s. If you want to give me more money, that's fine, Square. I don't, I, I don't mind. 
I don't mind. There's uh, there's um, AMC still selling. Still selling. Um, man, I mean, in hindsight, yes. That's a pretty obvious short, but I don't want to short Ape Nation. I'll just um, let them do their thing. There's Square still going. Going to trail bar by bar. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 254.40s. Excellent breakout. So thankful. So yeah, my, my, my supports were 46.14. There was a little bit of support, and that got smashed. So 46.14 um, gave a 10 cent bounce. Now we're just kind of going. Here's square though, 254.72s. Yeah, I might just hold these remainder remaining shares, but if it's gonna keep, if it wants to keep going, Square's on beast mode right now. Shopify's still doing well. So there's a, there's the 45 bounce. <clears throat> um, if we don't get a good bounce here, um, look for support at 44.50. And there we go. Glad I took some profits off on Square. Look at that drop, nasty drop. That's what I'm. That's what I'm avoiding right there. Spy still new all time highs. Um, <laughs> You know, no, no, there, there, there's nothing, nothing too crazy on that. Uh, what else do we got here? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Doing well in square and there we go. I'm just gonna let um, I'm just gonna have a very loose stop underneath the low of the day on square. Look at that. Look at that pullback on square. That. Two point pullback. That's a reversal candle right there, by the way. Nice, good move. And there's the spy bull flagging. Looks like the spy wants more highs. Stream choppy again. Oh no. Still um still still getting used to this. Good to see you, Kushan. What is the Googs doing, boo? Um, Googs? Googs not really um, doing too much. Just kind of um, sold off into the morning. Googs, look for Google to probably um, pull back just a little bit more. Probably down to 25.18. 25.18, something of that sort. Here's Starbucks. Going to take... Mm. Yeah, I'm going to take some profits now on Starbucks. That's exactly what I was looking for. I've got my position built. GameStop selling. 1580 and 1590 on Shopify. I've got two weeks for this one. 465. Wow. So there's the spy. New um, all time highs. Or almost yet. It's about to press it. One penny away. But yeah. Um, Googs, yeah, Googs is just, um, it, it's got some bottoming tails, which shows a little bit of accumulation, but watch for it to flush underneath 25.56. Oh, how's it going, Parker? Parker just, um, left. Give me one sec here and then I'll, let's go. How's it going, everybody? There we go. Nice, good, peaceful trading day. Happy Wednesday. Bearish or bullish AMC. So Noah, um, if you watched, um, if you watched the pre-market, if you watched the pre-market show on AMC, I mean, I said AMC. In my opinion, short term more bearish than bullish. That's just based off the technical pattern. It's not FUD, not fear, uncertainty, or doubt. It's just my opinion. So now we're starting to find some support. I wouldn't be surprised now if AMC rallied a little bit. There's your 45.1 low. I thought it could have gone a little bit lower down to 44.50 based off that. We're still struggling now with resistance at 46.13 though. So watch out. Watch out. I think it's a good idea to view shorting AMC as hazardous. See, Alan, um... Yeah, shorting stocks in general is hazardous. That's the lesson to be learned, right? Shorting stocks in general is hazardous because you, know, just, you have unlimited risk. Who wants unlimited risk? 
Not me. <laughs> I don't want unlimited risk. I want limited risk. And there's uh, Amazon, new all-time highs. Dip and rip setup. Wow. Maybe Amazon calls was the way to go on that dip. But nice, good flag pattern. Bull flag breakout, 37.21. There's the spy. Still hasn't made new all-time highs, although I was about to. Square, um, finding some support right off my um, my line. <laughs> yeah, Charlie, are you, are you in Greece? Wow, and so now there's the spy into all time highs. I guess I was just a, I was just five minutes ahead, <laughs> getting all my unrealized gains back on AMC puts. Nice, G Seaver, you were prepared for it this morning. Yep. Now it's AMC could be getting a trend change. Bulls are hoping that that's a higher low pivot, 45.80. There's Amazon, new all-time high, and then a sell-off. Shopify. And there's Square coming on down. That was a reversal pattern. Oh, yeah. I'm going to hold on to these shares as, as long as I can all day if I can. If I, if I can. But... These last, these last few shares are so just negligent, negligible. And there's Shopify coming on down. So kind of played both Shopify and Square perfectly off of those rips. I want to see if I can close this one at 4.2, 1580, 1590. That would be a really good deal because we're not even above 1590. Give me 4.2. Give me four then. Give me four then. Can you give me 400? You can give me 400. There you go. They gave me 400. Nice. So that'd be a, a little bit less than $200 profit on that. Oh, excellent. So can't always um, nail the tops perfectly. We got GameStop selling off 190 to 185. Put debit spread right here. Those spreads, they can pay. And Juan, go uh, rewind the stream and you can see my analysis for Neo. I did say more bearish than bullish, right? Yeah, so Neo, more bearish than bullish. Probably a short setup. Or something like that today. The, the question is, is... I'm going to short Neo right here, actually. 40s, 49, 48. And I'll add underneath the low of the day. Or add and uh, as as we get closer to the stop, adding right there actually, forty three, forty twos. No, and this is why I don't like uh, shorting stocks. They can be uh, it can be a little bit tricky. And there goes B A pump and dump on B A. That's hilarious. So short one hundred and two shares, very small size on uh, Neo. And there's the spy rolling over, so watch out. Added to the Neo short right there. But now I'm gonna put a stop right above those 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 highs. 60s. Nah, they might get me. There's the spy though tanking, so watch out. Spy's tanking. This is not the best setup. I'm gonna. I might flatten this real quick if it holds 50s. The Neo down 1.5 percent. Look for this to head lower down to the 47.50. 49.43 is that flush point. It's not flushing. Hmm. Ah, uh, they pierced me. 61s. 64s now is the next stop. Man, so yeah, th so that's why I don't like shorting stocks right there. Looks like it's going to break down and then oh, we got some support. <laughs> How is Tesla looking? Shout out to Yogesh over here. How is Tesla looking? TSLA. 
Um, more bearish than bullish. More bearish than bullish, if you ask me. So, it's just a floppy zigzag, though. I wouldn't say there's any great opportunity on Tesla. So, if, if Neo can start to roll over... I would like to add back in, but looks like I'm going to get pu punched. So Neo, small little stop out, minus $37, you know. There you go, that's the first trade given back. Money. Would have liked to have been perfect on the day, but, you know, temptations come along. <laughs> it looks like they might. That's just weird. Oh, I did. It did spike the low of the day, but then... And there's the SPY still coming down. Very, very interesting. There's Shopify. Glad I took my profits up there. I am still short one share of NEO. <laughs> so I flattened that. SQ, still long SQ as well. SQ did a nice good uh, bounce recovery. We got Yogesh, Tesla, Tesla, um, just look for this channel to potentially hold. Um, as long as it's beneath 660, it's more bearish than bullish. So I'd be looking lower on that. I'd be looking lower on a Tesla. There's Piton. And there's a square. Nice, good um, recovery. I'm going to go long. Oh. So I'm long small size Shopify right here. Stop just underneath the lows. Looks like a market's getting a nice, good rally. Nice, good move there, shop. I'll put my stop underneath the lows. How's it going, Parker? You coming back? Coming back for more? All right, here we go. There's Tesla still being bearish, as we talked about. Here's Parker. Matthew Luker asks, um, yeah, good to see you, Spear SG. Uh, Sundial Fallen Wedge. Let's check it out. SNDL. If I missed your ticker, just uh, it's just the, <laughs> the way I looked at things. Forgive me. Um, sundial look. Um, sundial is not a falling wedge. That's um, just called a waterfall sell-off. So that's there's a difference between a falling wedge and a waterfall sell-off. And actually, uh, we were just on it. Tesla is a falling wedge. You could argue it's a bullish wedge. It's not, though, for Tesla. And the reason it's not is um, based on where it's at on the chart. Look for Tesla to flush lower. But in terms of uh, Sundial, that's just a waterfall sell-off because it's a ultra penny stock. And it has done exactly what we've said it's going to do. This is a wedge on the daily. That was its breakout. And did another little pump and dump. Pump and dump. And uh, trapped some people. Destroyed some dreams. Tesla's uh, getting clapped. I do want to get a uh, short Tesla at some point. Probably Tesla over Neo, I guess. Well, Neo's now starting to break down. Short Neo again, got the 50. Now, now it starts to go. We'll see though. Short Neo again. Come on, Neo, just flush. Probably should have shorted Tesla instead of Neo, but because I've already uh, lost on Neo. There you go. Now we're starting to go. Beautiful. Trailing down my stop. 41s, 40s, 39s, 37s. There we go. Trailing down my stop. Beautiful. 36s, 34s, 35s. 
Oh man, I missed it. Oh, there goes squared, looking for more highs now. Beautiful. Now here comes Neo. Let's get that flush, Neo. 37s, 38s, 37s, 35s, 34s. There's Neo now flushing. Nice, good stuff. Pushing and moving down my stop. Come on, go. 33s, 32s. Nice, good stuff. Yeah, this is why I don't like shorting stocks. I can't get any traction. Hmm. Well, Neo, that second short trade was profitable, but very, very small. Small. There's SQ. That was the right move. And there you go. Back up to our highs of the day, mostly. Oh, now Neo flushes. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful flush. Oh, that easily filled right there. Nice, good move there, Neo, to the downside. Now flushing. This is the move I was looking for. Looking to cover into 4867. Man, that's unfortunate. And there's Tesla now starting to flush. I might do something peaceful like bear call credit spreads. Got that. Oh. oh there you go. Shopify. Stopped out. That makes sense, right? There's the, there's Tesla now. New lows. Love it. I like that Tesla making new lows. I'm just. Yeah. Enjoy your holiday, Charlie. Man, that Neo, that bugs me. That kind of botched it a little bit. Well, there we go. Now we're starting to cook. There you go. Now Neo's positive for us. Just like that. That was the flush I was looking for. There's Tesla 650 now. Nice good uh, move lower. And uh, how is Apple looking? I am asked. Great question. How is Apple looking? Not, I like how Neo is just waterfall selling earlier. And before it was just like, no, we're not going to let you in. <laughs> There you go. Took some profits there on Neo. And there we go. Nice good secondary trade on Neo. Too bad it was only a quarter the size, but I got four times the move. So it was only a quarter of the size, but I got four times the move. Yeah, how is um Apple looking? A P L. Still bullish. Closing it near the highs of the day. Wonderful. Neo, I'm just not going to look at. <laughs> it's okay. I don't have FOMO shorting Neo. And there's Google. Did find that support at 2526. There's Tesla now flush and watch out on Tesla. Tesla, that was a falling wedge. I said that was a bearish one. So I shorted Tesla at 654. Actually, I got filled probably at 652 a little bit late, unfortunately. Selling the 650 calls. On Tesla. Now we're at 648. Watch out. Do, 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 do. There's Tesla still flushing. Glad I took my profits this morning. Oh my goodness. And here comes GameStop now. 179. All right, well, that's um, pretty close to target. I'll just go uh, 
3.5. There's GameStop flushing. Where can one close Tesla short support? I would um let it let it um on Tesla. I'm gonna let it do not unless it breaks above just you know 655. I'm not even gonna I'm gonna hold this one for quite a while. It's just tanking. Tesla's getting clapped. Square on these last three shares since I do have to go flat at the end of the day. I'm just because of this account and my choices. I'm going to move up my stop. 250.49. There you go. So there's a little bit of support on Tesla. Probably due for just a little kickback rally, though. Yeah, there's Tesla. Still just getting clapped. But where can I close the where can one close the Tesla short? Um uh, well, right about here. Uh, support is 636. I wouldn't be surprised to see Tesla at 636 by the end of the day, maybe the end of the week. Something of the sort. Now, I am flat shop, right? I am. Yep, perfect. Oh, that's so perfect. Look at that. How's that? Amazon doing? 36.90. Amazon flushed right into a lower low. Glad I took my profits earlier. So there's Tesla. Good, uh, good little five minute bounce right there. Look at that. See, those bounces can be strong. Nice, good stuff. We're, of course, taking a beating. Doesn't it take a beating every day, Jeremiah? WKHS. <laughs> oh, yeah. Taking a beating. Little rebound. Good rebound right there. Leto asks, is it too late to short AMC? Probably, yeah. Especially if you have to ask. Um, yeah, there we go. So there's AMC dumping. Boom, got my profits here on GameStop. Covered at 179 there on GameStop. That was $100 into 350 Oh, I thank you, GameStop. An mRNA. Hmm. I might. I'm glad I didn't go with call options on this one. What I love about put credit spreads is that you can leg into them. So I'm going to leg into. Oh, jeez. What do I do with all this buying power? Shopify credit spreads. Whoa. Mm. Boy, I'm so glad I took my profits on Shopify now. Okay, huh? How's the Starbucks doing then? Hanging out. Starbucks is a nice, good um, safety play. Oh, and there goes Tesla. So Tesla coming back for lower lows. In short AMC for a bit. Good to see you, Cheyenne. How's it going? I am having an amazing day. It is, um, you know, yeah, every day is new when you wake up. I don't know how good or bad it's going to be, but it's always nice. With regards to Apple and Amazon, can you talk about how you determine price targets when a stock approaches all-time highs? Great question, Al. When a stock approaches all-time highs, all I do is I um, look at the options chain. So how do I know that Google is likely going to reach a high of 2560? Is the options chain. Is the options chain. Amazon, how do you determine resistance levels? I mean, you, you, you got to ask the question, when are people getting greedy? When is everybody talking about Amazon? Oh, everybody's talking about Amazon today because of yesterday's action that it had. So if everybody's talking about it today, it's unlikely to have another explosive day. So you have to really think about psychology. And that's why I was taking profits on Amazon today instead of buying Amazon today. Now, I, can, I, I still want to buy Amazon probably at about 3600 So I'll let Amazon drop maybe $100. Morning from Peru, Bank and Finanzas. But yeah, Al, I, you, you've got to ask the options chain and you got to um, think, think about extensions. Use extensions and stuff like that.
Good to see you, Stuart. Can I do some technical analysis on PLTR? Sure thing. PLTR. Um, was supposed to hold support, failed to hold support, so I'd be looking lower on PLTR. Probably down to at least 23, but probably down to this 22 area. So that's the technical analysis on PLTR. We had a nice good flag pop. That hit resistance, I said 27.50 was my target. The high was 27, like 20 or something like that. What was the high? 27.40, so 10 cents off from the high. That was it. When I say that's a target, that means there can be some strong area of resistance and it can sell off from that level. So there we go. Selling off from that level. Look for this to head lower. You're sorting the weenie shirt in at the Whole Foods in Austin. Any weenies say hi? Hey, I say hi, Moises. <laughs> hey, show them, show, um, send, send them over to this channel. So Bank and Finanza's as Apple and BLK, APL. Extended into all-time highs. Probably needs to go sideways to lower short-term, but longer-term probably going to break out. I've been bullish tech for quite a while. Apple doing an amazing job. Um, everybody's talking about every dip in Apple is needed. Everybody's looking for those all-time highs. I would um, I'd be in, uh, you know, a what for a dip buy, a day trade, swing trade, or investment? An investment you just dollar cost average and keep buying it. A day trade. You'd probably go long and place your stop underneath 143.44. A swing trade, you wait, and that's about it, right? There's Tesla, 650. Double bottom at 648.50. Cool beans. Square touched me by nine cents. Uh, Cheyenne asks, what's my outlook on CCL for the next few weeks? Uh, down. Okay, yeah, there you go. So it's down today, too. Did a little pump and dump. Yeah, be looking down on CCL, Carnival Cruise. I'll eliminate on the weekly. Good to see you, Himani. Um, and if I missed your ticker, just please repost it. LMND. Can't wait till Bryce breaks up. I have to go to the bathroom. Give me one sec. After I after I break down lemonade, LMND. Um, lemonade. That's a rollover formation. Pump, dump, bear flag, drop into a jab. If it can hold above the bear flag um, range, it could be okay. This looks more bearish than bullish, though. It's just been pushed along by the bull market, shoved higher. Now the... People are not buying it as much. So that's um, something to look out for. Okay? Something to look out for. That's all. Tesla's back underneath 650. Short sellers take advantage of FOMC minutes. Potentially, yeah. Yeah, if Parker doing an analysis like about three. Yeah, yeah, staying in cash this week. Yeah, yeah. Do you not see the amount of cash that I'm building up? You always see my Robinhood portfolio and just constant plays. Right now, I'm in more cash. Oh yeah, I got filled at a mRNA two sixty call. Nice. We'll see if that works or not. I am curious. Mm, I don't know about that. I must have just thrown in a bid for that one. 225.43. It could be the low. What do I think of VXRT long term? Chart looks good for pop. VXRT. Ah. Uh, Nope, that does not look good for a pop. This is not what a chart looks like for a pop. This is what a chart looks like to 
drive people crazy. So expect a heart rate monitor, zigzag between 5 and 10. You'd be lucky to see it at 10 ever again. Um, look for this to go sideways to slightly lower, go through some random pumps, and then dumps. Yep. You guys are talking about any GG halted to the upside. Yep, it's just a short seller is getting trapped. I mean, don't get FOMO on this one. It is hilarious that it's up 69% on the day. But don't get FOMO on this one. Although I will say, if you've studied your patterns, you know that these are some awesome flag breaks. Flag pop. Flag pop. Pop. Pull back. Bull pull back. There you have three... Amazing buy setups. So let's say you buy at 33 with a stop loss at 2829. You buy at 3650. And then you raise your stop loss to just underneath, you know, 34. Then you buy at 40 and you raise your stop loss to about 38. Now you got a three times position and a protected stop loss, and you're halted to the upside, which would be terrifying. <laughs> um, but that's just an opinion. That's just my opinion. That'd be terrifying. Um, <laughs> funny stuff. Impression of Neg? Uh, my impression is you saw a lot of people are about to get burned. A lot of people are about to get burned. That's my impression. So I'd, uh, be careful. If you don't want to get burned, don't trade it. <laughs> um, more often than not, people lose money on stuff like this than make money. Okay? And they're it's just the shiny new object of the day. It's unhalted. There we go. Still, It could still go, and it could, it could very well continue to go. Short sellers are trapped. Sometimes, um, though, there can be some nasty pullbacks. I don't know. Me, me personally, I don't like... Um, Losing 4.2% in one minute. Even though you can gain, you know, you can gain 20% in just three minutes. I mean, okay, well, there it goes. <laughs> you buy 10 shares on the dip and boom, there's a quick 50 bucks. You buy 10 shares though. You buy 10 shares at $50 a share, that's $500. And then the thing goes back down to 25. Boom, you just lost $250. So be careful on Neg. That's a doji candle. Where's square? Square just barely weirdly triggered the stop. Thinking more long term, not a day trade. Um, yeah, you definitely do not want to be taking long term positions there. I mean, I'm not here to tell you what to do. Not at all. That's far from it. This is weenie trades. We we teach self sufficiency here. Those share, share trades sound peaceful. Apple's Apple making new daily highs. Nice. Yep. About to. Here it comes. Three, two, and one. I would like, you know, it's so tempting to just buy that, but it's, it, it shouldn't. I wonder if Apple hit 145. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, you want, to, you want the probabilities that Apple's going to hit 145? Probably that Apple it's 145 is 84%. And here it comes. And my goodness, I've got to go to the bathroom so badly. 145.09. It's probably just going to go for it today. Oh, here it comes. That was the dip trade, though, 143.45. Yeah. These are pre market plays. Yeah. There goes Apple. New daily highs, just like that. They forced the hand upon them. There's new daily highs into a pullback. Lots of false breakouts here in the summer. Beyond is getting clapped. GameStop glad it covered at the low. And there's uh, AMC down at the 44s. And there's Apple new high into a pullback. There's Square still going up. Nice, good stuff. I'm a little bit salty I didn't hold those shares. But. <laughs> yeah.
There's um square two two fifty three. So, huh? Oh well. So there's Apple new highs into a pullback. <laughs> and there's um the, hey look what was the AMC low of the day? Here I'm just gonna overlap the volume so you can uh, see this. What was the AMC low of the day? To the penny. Look at that um. Look at that um, chart. <laughs> Drawn before AMC's price action today. The low of the day was 42.80. My line, my price level, let's just, um, I'm just going to even um, just see what it was at. 420.83. So I was three pennies off from the low of the day. Three pennies off. Swim in an applesauce. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> Draw us a high way up there, please. So what AMC needs to do is, um, and sure thing. Here, here's, um, here, here, I'll draw uh, the moon. This is the moon. Here's where AMC. There you go. There's 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 where AMC is gonna go. <laughs> Not financial advice. But now I'm um, AMC. Drop. Bear flag drop. Bear kickback rally. And so this is um this is a short setup with a sell with a stop loss above the highs. I wonder um. I wonder how some other channels are doing if they're just telling their people to to hold on. Hold the line. I I, I wonder. <laughs> I <laughs> feel bad sometimes, you know. Cause I mean nothing but the best. Um, uh, that sucks. Cause I mean, there could there, there could be a lot of people that get destroyed and and hurt really badly. That just kind of breaks my heart. You made like 400 grand on Super Chat. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. So Tesla's still kind of coming down. There's Tesla more new lows. 647.60s. A trader I was watching yesterday was legit telling people to buy and hold these meme stocks. It should be bannable. Well, l luckily, luckily you're here at the Weenie Trades, and we were we were ready for this pretty easily. And um, you probably got some good trades on Square, some Google, some Amazon, some Shopify. So we 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 do well. We we'll make our money. We make our money and. Uh, Can you explain what happens to puts when IV is super high because a stock took off? Yeah, so puts, the implied volatility gets jacked up when uh, when stocks make, big, make bigger than expected moves. So like AMC being down 12%, that's a bigger than expected move. The IV for the puts increase. They're saying, hey, AMC is moving bigger. AMC can drop a lot more than we previously thought. You're going to have to pay up. Pay up to to buy puts or quote unquote synthetically short AMC. So that's kind of what happens. Yep, any GG is just popping off. Yep. Yep. I I mean you, you, you know I feel bad for the people that are gonna get it hop on to this at any one of these worst price. You believe in the squeeze, but anyone who literally bets that they can lose probably has done that many times before and will again if it's a mindset. Yeah, I mean, just just be careful. Just be careful. I mean, I wish nothing but the best for the greatest majority of people. Haha, <laughs> thanks, G-Man.
couple got a warning. Well, good thing I say not financial advice. YouTube, please review my channel and I never tell anybody to buy or sell. I'll never tell them to hold. I'm just here showing what I'm doing. I'm just here showing what I'm doing. That is all. And there's Neo down at 47.90. There's Tesla at 647.33. Getting clapped and still getting clapped. Googs would never fire you, I, I hope. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I appreciate that, Stuart. Javier, uh, just just as I finish um, talking about uh, how I don't tell people what, what to buy and what to sell, yeah, Javier says, what do I recommend for a, as a dip buy for a swing slash investment? I don't recommend anything. I can show you what I'm doing and what um, what is going on in my portfolio. Um, what I encourage you to do, Javier, also is check out the Weenie Trades LLC channel here. I'll link this video. This might answer your question right away. This might answer your question pretty easily. This whole video, any part of it, skip around, have fun with it. Drakey on gaming says, am I looking to buy this dip on AMC? Um, no, not personally. I like to buy breakouts on um, squeeze stocks. So when, when a stock is, when a stock is um, overvalued, I usually like to buy the breakouts. Because that's the when the momentum's clean and I make money right away. I like it when things go straight up and I make money right away. So that's why I like buying breakouts rather than dip buys. But I, I like doing dip buys on large caps and stuff like that. Undervalued large caps. But I mean, it, you know, this is if there is a chance to dip buy AMC, this actually is the spot. I'm curious on the volume. There's not a lot of shares traded, which which is interesting. I mean, they, the, it, it's holding up pretty well. I will say that. Um, you know, a risk to reward actually does say, you know, you buy this dip, buy this dip, but you got to put a stop loss somewhere. I'd put a stop loss right underneath that low, 4280. I'd put a stop loss right underneath that low, 4280. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah look right here. So the put premiums increase. This is just a small example, but buying the 41 put, selling the 40 strike put. But yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not touching AMC. I mean, maybe I'll just take profits on this little weenie put spread. This is just nothing. I, I, I do fo focus on large caps more. And there's square new lows of the day. Google's holding up well. Amazon's starting to crack. Um, and shout out to Yogesh over here, Tesla Flush More. You enjoying this Tesla short with me, Yogesh? This Tesla short star uh, cooking now. I'm, I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying the Tesla short. Can't catch every trade, but I'm glad we were able to catch some trades, you know? So, yeah. Um, with Tesla to Flush More, is it at 636? I'm, I'm going to probably cover a little bit based off the angle. I'm going to cover a little bit in front of 640 and then um, maybe at 636. So 636. Um, I, do, I have a different style of trade though. I have the bear call credit spreads. So I make money as long as Tesla goes sideways, sideways to lower. It's going well though. Sucking out this premium is going to be tough, though. Neg, that could be a high, NEGG, but I'm not going to call it. There you go. So the more new highs on NEGG. That's so sad because that means some people are going to get absolutely burned um, at some point. There you go. Just like that. $6 a share, $7 a share drop. That usually marks the high. Yeah, Tesla's still flushing yoga. You enjoying this short trade? <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Beyond's down to 139. Rip. MRNA getting clapped now. Moderna. Nasty. That's starting to get a little bit more oversold than I'd. Hmm, 222 is the dip buy? 222 is the dip buy for MRNA. 
It's coming up. How's it going, Parker? Is Spy starting to uh, get clapped now? Oh, bye-bye, Parker. Hmm, there could be some good dip buys. Yeah, it's still short. Hmm. I am kind of curious. You know, like a small share size can go quite a long ways. Oh, okay. Maybe a spike of 220 now. So to mRNA starting to scale in small and then uh, looking to add at 220 or our next bounce and then place a stop underneath the lows. I do think that we can get more and just layer out some bids. Let's see what we've got. But yeah. Was able to scalp a quick $100 off of Roblox calls. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Five minute trade. Hey, that's awesome. Absolutely amazing. Hey, we're already green on MRNA. Hmm, do I cover some Tesla down here? That is a little bit oversold. Okay. Well, there we go. There's mRNA. Wish I could have gotten a little bit more size. That's the problem. Sometimes you you scale in and you're like, okay, well, I didn't get enough size then. That's the problem. Mm-hmm. You expect a lot of FUD to accompany this large dip, then hopefully a rip tomorrow on Friday. Potentially, yeah. Yeah, I mean... That's very viable. Are shorts going to cover on this rally or what? Oh, yeah. Nice good move. I'll take it, mRNA. I'll take it. So covered some Tesla right there at 644. And then bought that dip on mRNA at 221.80. So got within 30 or 40 cents of the high. Now deciding whether I want to take profits or not. I'll just place a break even stop. No more, no shenanigans, mRNA. Yep, just like that. Parker's going crazy. <laughs> yeah, how's um, how's the good old spy doing? I'll put Tesla in the bottom left corner. Off to an appointment. See you later. Happy trading. Trade like you were drunk. Ah, la, la, la. Good to take care, Alan. Hope everything goes well. Let me know if you want any AMC updates. I'm all, I, I, I'll, we'll, 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 it'll be important to reevaluate. And there we go. There's the dip. I expect there. There's there. I, I expect this could recover. That could recover. There's a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. Oh, right, here we go. MRNA 223s. That was the move. There we go. Bryce, good morning. Hello. How's it going? Do you want to say hi? I've got to go to the bathroom so badly. Yeah, scrab Parker. <laughs> good morning, Bryce. Hope you are well. You look wonderful. We had a, we had a cooking day today, Bryce. Killed it. Had a lot of fun. I'm going to close the AMC short because I'm evil. There you go. Filled. We did a pretty good job today. Yes, we 
Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I will be right back. Bryce has got her baby. She's gonna say hi. Oh, my baby. Ask Hello. Bryce. Oh, okay, I got that. Nice, good stuff. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> good morning, everyone. Excuse me, I just rolled out of bed. <laughs> Parker did not, though. He was up at like 5 a.m. being like, feed me! I didn't feed him, I just locked him out of the bedroom. <laughs> Good morning, Leto. How's it going today? Tesla? Pooped. That's surprising. Parker handles the pre-market scanning. Parker? Do you scan for stocks in the morning? Yeah, that's why he's up at 5 a.m. <laughs> he's like, I have the stocks for you. Wake up. You should get one of those wonderful otters they keep in Japan. An otter? Aren't they like... Maybe this is a different otter, but aren't they like... Actually, um... Like, violent? <laughs> they whine and cry and are so damn smart. That sounds like Parker. He whines and cries, but he's so damn smart. <laughs> There he goes. Check out the YouTube channel. There are three channels dedicated to these otters. You will find them to be so adorable. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure I will. He's so angry. I know. He wants to be put down. Do you want to be put down? Okay. Here. I'll put him on. Oh. Don't know if he'll stay here, because he's probably still hungry. Oh, yeah. There he goes. <laughs> there he is. They can scratch their butts with their front claws. They get along with cats, too. <laughs> that does sound adorable. Parker! What? Go cry at Greg. Maybe he'll give you some food. <laughs> but yes, how's it going, everyone? <laughs> Leto, are you just obsessed with these otters? I bet. Otters are really cute. They're one of my, my favorite animals, I think I'd say. Yes. They're aggressively sexual. <laughs> That's awkward. But yes, how'd this morning go for everyone? The first, um, the first hour? <laughs> they have to be the smartest creatures under 10 pounds. I don't know, I think Parker's pretty smart. <laughs> Maybe Parker's the smartest creature under 10 pounds. Nobody is talking about Neg. Maybe, maybe Greg can talk about Neg when he comes back. We did talk about Neg. Now you should be extremely careful trading it. Well, there you go.
Neg is halt, squeezing the hell out of short. <laughs> I've never heard of that before. N-E-G-G. -G. I'll take- I'll, I'll glance at it because I'm- I'm curious. Because I wasn't here when you talked about it already. Oh my gosh, yeah. Be careful. This is a be careful type of stock. It's high as 69. Hilarious. But yeah, from $28 to $69. Be careful. What you decide to do. If you decide to do anything. Did you study finance too? No, <laughs> I did not. Everything I know has been taught to me by Greg. So no financial studies here. Yeah, exactly, Honda Moose. Not financial advice, but if you're not in it already, you may not want to jump in now because <laughs> it's just up so much it could just dump right back down to 28 I'm in 30.05 luckily I got filled what's going on with all the growth stocks are they all going down like Tesla Oh, mRNA sold. Got tagged out for that one. They have a catalyst. Anyone know what's going on? It dumped, halt down sixty two. Fine. You see? You see what happens when a stock just jumps 150%? It's, a, it's pretty likely to... Or jumps. Did I say dump? Jumps. It's likely to dump afterwards. <laughs> In at 40 with 25 shares. But sold 20. At 69. Nice. What goes straight up has no support. That was yeah. a $60 poop. I'm going to buy mRNA again right here because they just hit my stop. But maybe that's a reason for that. That was a $60 poop though, Bryce. I literally uh, go to the bathroom right here. I come back. Market poops with me. <laughs> so there's a uh, Tesla underneath 640 as expected. There's the AMC bounce as we talked about. Nice, good stuff. Hey, Weenie, is this the correction? So, Aaron, um, for what? The market? It's a pullback. That's what I'd say. It's a, it's a, it's a pullback. That's for sure. I mean, um... Uh, this is not a correction though, not even in the slightest. Zoom out. SPY has tons of space for a daily higher low. I'm gonna go long mRNA right here. Even right at the stop. Well, now it's starting to go. They're like, all right, 
We got Weenie to buy. Now let's dump. Well. I wonder if they give if I have enough space to scale in. I should though. I expect a lower low now though. There's Tesla getting destroyed, molly whopped. Yeah, yeah, look at Tesla. Yeah, it's dumping. Remind me to grab puts next time, not a uh, bear call credit spreads. We'll see though. Mm, yeah, here it comes. That was a really nasty pullback. That looks like a uh, bearish. I'm just going to place my stop right underneath this level. There we go. Boom. The stop held. The stop holds. That's pretty cool. Not, it's not gonna though. <laughs> that was a nice strong wick. How's it going though? You're too funny, poop. I know, right? <laughs> My sixty dollar poop. I felt, I felt like I'm mRNA. I had a ton of space for a day, for a, for a one minute high or low. Never made it though. That's the thing. There's Tesla six thirty eight. Could that be the low? Maybe. I might cover that though. Oh, and there goes MRNA. Got more MRNA right there. Nice, good stuff. Hmm. Well, now I can't. Um get too much let me cover tesla there you go got tesla covered nice good stuff here comes mrna beautiful move oh beautiful four eights excellent excellent just survived barely Nice good stuff. Aw, oh, cooking. Cooking right here on mRNA. Nice good stuff. Aw, oh, excellent. Come on, I need to be filled by a buyer. Got filled some by some buyers. Nice, good stuff. Aw, oh, excellent. I love botting, bottom fishing sometimes. So if you bottom fish and you nail the low, boom. We got a good position. And there goes Tesla 638. Covered at 640 as we reclaim 640 from the downside. Some nice, good stuff. There's your AMC. Move higher. Oh, beautiful mRNA. Oh. Oh, come on. You didn't have to do it that easily. Okay. Getting some orders filled is always a little bit trickier. Oh. Excellent. Okay. There we go. Oh. Okay. You talking about mRNA? Yeah. Yeah, I said I'm, I like mRNA down here at 222. Now it's at 224. It's a nice, good bounce.
still holding your short. Nice. That's probably better, Yogesh. I mean, that, that is a uh, strong rally off the lows. Now it's at resistance, though. Tesla at resistance. AMC just hit resistance as well. SPY, once I, once I see a question talking about if this is the correction, that's usually where we're nearing the low of the day. Neg was good for the $30 breakout. It's pretty much it. Anything else is just chasing for Neg. Yeah, so yeah, Francis, yeah, on Neg, N-E-G-G. I, you know, I had, um, oh, shout out to the Bomba over here. Just keep waiting, waiting, waiting. Hey, <laughs> I really appreciate that, the Bomba. Thanks for supporting the channel. Stay, uh, I, I am streaming a little bit longer than I thought I would be, but, you know, it's part of it. I enjoy, I'm, I'm, I'm having, yeah, Hakuna Matata. 223.27 got filled on mRNA. Yeah, but there goes uh, Tesla now. So yeah, sh to recap that Tesla short trade, shorted at 6.55, added to that short at 6.52. Took profits at 6.45 and at 6.40. What do I think? 20 put for August on Neg? Uh, e let's check out Neg. N-E-G-G. -G. Oh, 74. Yeah. There you go. It's unhalted. Clapped. Look at that. Look at that. There's going to be some people that are going to be like, what? what? Why did it drop? And, um, sadly... See, and that can happen at any moment. You can just lose 25% in just one minute. That can happen at any moment. If stuff starts hitting the fan. How is that neg doing today? About a bunch of few weeks ago. It's doing good today. Josh, it's doing good today. <laughs> Stock is up 106%. Um, people are people are amused by 106% on a stock, though. I mean, just learn some options. Or learn some debit spread strategies, whatever it may be. Call it. <laughs> Josh with the winky face. <laughs> See, I can't um, read stuff with emotion because you can't type emotion. A-X-O-N poppin'. Nice, Alvis. Or Alvis, right? Which one is it? A-X-O-N, though. A-X-O-N. Lower volume. Bull flagging. Not really doing much. Just kind of hanging out. Going sideways. Here comes the, the, the demise of Neg. So, it, Neg's... It's a, it's a thing in a lot of um, pickup artist books. Don't ask me how I know that. Um, not my favorite thing. But the neg, coming down. It is negative. Mm -hmm. Okay, is it a good time to get Tesla? Is it at 420 or 500 yet? For what, a day trade, swing trade, or investment? Important questions over here. Day trade, swing trade, or investment. Which one is it? Um, for for the day trade, the day trade probably could go short with the stop loss above 643. For the swing trade, you probably want to dip by maybe at 630. 630. There's neg coming on down, the demise of it now. Front side of the move, back side of the move now. So yeah, there's your your day trades. Hopefully Josh sold. <laughs> no, watch, Neg's gonna just do like some other amazing rip through the through the highs yet again, and then everybody be like, see I told you it was gonna go up. No way, wind's getting clapped right now. Wow, just an all-out dump off the open. I, 
I had an alert at 119 to short it. Nice good move downward. But how's it going, you guys? What you up to? Parker just leaps up. Here comes Parker. Day trade, day trade. <laughs> Negative, I know, right? <laughs> Am I bearish on the market? Why would I be bearish on the market? Do I hate money or something or what? Um, I have never... The only times I've been bearish on the market were during minor corrections. You know, September, October last year. A um, little bit in March and April. I'm only bearish the market when it's um, selling off. It, it may look like it's selling off. This is nothing. This is nothing on the market. This is a blip in the radar. Um, they're, 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 it, it could uh, start to drop and then I'll be... It, 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 it depends on your time frame. Short term, medium term, or long term. You know, medium term, the trends are still up. Short term, yeah, we could maybe pull back a little bit more. Longer term, no red flags. We need to break some crazy supports for there to be some red flags on the overall market. Whoever was bearish the market, probably just losing hand over fist. Because they're shorting it because it was up a lot. Which it is up a lot. But um, sometimes there can be some uh, trend modes that get going when stocks make new all-time highs like the, the big tech weights. Um, and I expect the tech stocks to continue to just make new all-time highs over time. And just relax. So no, I am not bearish the market. I, 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 I encourage um, you guys to get familiar with um, my work and my videos. Go 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 check them out. You know, go subscribe to Weenie Trades LLC. Some interesting insights. <laughs> Sixty nine views. Nice. <laughs> Negative. Negative won't fill your put order. Let it let let some green candles come and get you. Some green candles could come and get you. But the market, market pretty interesting, you know, kind of sideways, going through a little bit of a sell-off. Nothing too crazy, though, in my opinion, just yet. Nothing too crazy. Little hammer candle. E each of the dips keep getting bought, but there is some cracks in the armor. There's neg. Did that, did that little wick fill you, Honda Moose? Anyone in AMD? Um, I think I have some in my investment accounts. AMD got absolutely destroyed. Rip. Rest in peace, AMD. You are loved, my friend. You are loved. So now, now that I see this uh, pivot starting to form on mRNA, 222... 77. See, and this is, it's tough to get um, some actual momentum to the upside. Sometimes you just have to sit through these pullbacks. But there's um, Neg starting to break more supports. Stock is down. Oh, 27% off its highs. Dangerous. Dangerous. Moving up the stop now on MRNA, just underneath this pivot. We'll see if that tags or not. But AMD, AMD, this is probably the dip buy, one or one of many dip buys. Otherwise, I'd like it to come down to 89.60 maybe. 89.60 on AMD. Of 
Clove needs to fall a wee bit faster. <laughs> How's uh, Clove doing, C L O V? 962, nice. Still in a bearish downtrend. 10.1 is that key area. So mRNA came and grabbed the stop. Eh, would have been nice to have $200, but I'll take a free $50 bill. Free is um, overrated, maybe. Over-exaggerated, maybe. Eighty nine, sixty nine alert. Yep, getting close to my nap time. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Michael. I am, I am exhausted. Guys, just so you know, from all the travel and craziness. Okay, but can I look at PLTR as a dip buy? Go rewind the stream a couple of times. I talk about PLTR quite often. Um, has it come into twenty three? It did. Ah, so I'm probably gonna see twenty three pretty soon. 22.91. Now we're at 23.12. Yeah, it's a probably a, a, a it's probably a dip buy or a chance to leg into your dip buy, if that makes sense. A chance to leg into your dip buy. Yeah, could be good. Could be good. It's hovering at the pink line of your weeks ago for your breakdown level. Nice. Yeah. There's mRNA. Got the stop by well, 30 cents. That's mostly just the spread. But look for mRNA to probably have a decent recovery still. Probably all the way back up to 226 maybe. 226. Could be good. Yeah. Thanks for the inside advice. Awesome channel. None of this is financial advice. I'm just uh, here showing you what I'm doing. Go check out the channel, though. Go um, go check out the channel. Let me know what you like. And um, naps are good for your health. Catch an hour or two and you'll be fine. I agree. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to need it. Well. Oh, sh Jeremiah says, off to go play my $1,000 weekly allowance on slots. No, Jeremiah, no. Uh, Abba, instead of slots, do some do some credit spreads with that money. That Those $1,000, you can have a higher probability. Monopoly or lock it link. Later means catch all the while. Take care. Take care, Jeremiah. The NGO falling. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, penny stock. Unfortunate that it didn't hold the critical support at ten dollars a share. That was so pivotal. ALF continues these little pumps every day. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a stock. It's a stock. Yep. Yep. Amazon, AMZN. I look for Amazon to probably break lower short term. But who knows? I just feel that there may be some decent profit taking. 3600 might be the dip buy of some sort. All right. So maybe for the afternoon stream, we can get a better like ratio. And we can have some fun. Okay. So... This will be it for the morning stream. I'm going to call it for the morning stream. I'll schedule the afternoon stream. We'll get nice and ready for stock breakdowns. You know, maybe we can recap what happened over lunch, whatever it may be. Get some exercise. Take a nap if you can. Do something friendly for your neighbor. Hang out in the Discord, as Honda Moo says, you know, hang out in the Discord. Um, you know, be sure to, you know, if, if you got flexes, fl post in the flex channel. You may be from Google, Shopify, others, Amazon. Or if you lost money today, be sure to do losses with lessons. Make sure there's a lesson attached with it. That's how we get better at trading. Um, give me some dank memes. I do like some comedic relief, okay? Give me some comedic relief in the memes section. If you're part of the Weenie Academy, 
that will be the priority section. Is this a flag forming? Why, yes, it is. Why, why, yes, that is Sri. Something to keep on on dollar sign ETSY. There we go. Okay, it's just, yeah, it's a wedge, flag, whatever you want to call it. But on that note, everybody, mRNA can now go up now that it tagged out shares. <laughs> Check out this vid with Bryce going to the gym. Yeah, go to the gym. Hey, boss. Weenie said I had to take a nap. <laughs> it all right. WB day trade hit Ponchi ass. WB. That looks like the backside of the move. I mean, you can buy it with a stop underneath 60.66, or you can short it with a stop above 61.21. And on that note, I'll see you all. All you beautiful people for the afternoon stream, take care. I'll schedule it. Get ready for some fun, okay? Bye-bye.